WVVA News at 6. Right now, let's turn things over to Chief Meteorologist Jana Brown for a first look at our weather forecast. Jana. Dealing with showers, we've been dealing with them much of the day, but we also have gusty winds to deal with. And that right now, the bigger concern, as wind gusts could reach as high as 50 miles an hour on some of the higher elevations through Tazewell and Mercer County. So wind advisory up just for those two counties in our area, and it's mainly above 2,500 feet. It's on some of those higher ridges. Farther to our south and west, getting into the highlands of Virginia, a high wind warning is in effect. Now, as we take a look at some of the current winds, they are coming in from the east-southeast. Beckley right now sustained winds at 23 miles an hour. Gusts have been getting as high as 30 out there this afternoon. Gusts could reach 40 for some of the uh, ridge tops throughout the entire area. Now the advisory level would be 50 mile an hour gusts, but we could still see 40 mile an hour gusts out there. Ground is getting pretty wet. Could bring down a few tree limbs, which could cause sp spotty power outages. The widespread power loss is not expected. Temperatures chilly right now, ranging in the 40s to lower 50s. Temperatures will stay chilly through the rest of tonight. We are going to stay very damp, as you can see here from the radar loop. Rain continues as we go into the day tomorrow. All will details in a few minutes. Greg. Very good, Jana. Thank you. The outgoing Speaker of the House of Representatives is offering a parting gift that has some Republicans riled up. It's a tentative plan that would fund the government until the spring of 2017. Now, the man most likely to take over the House Speakership may not be on board, and other GOP lawmakers say they want more time to review and weigh in on the agreement. Polo Sandoval reports. Lawmakers struck the bipartisan budget deal late Monday as a way to avoid a looming fiscal crisis. The agreement proposes to raise domestic and defense spending by $80 billion. It also raises the national debt limit until March 2017. Outgoing House Speaker John Boehner, the man who helped broker the deal, stands by the agreement, saying it's for the good of all Americans. Uh, the agreement isn't perfect by any means, but the alternative uh, was a clean debt ceiling increase without any additional support for our troops and without any entitlement reforms. But it doesn't seem to be enough for some of Boehner's fellow Republicans. They are fuming and complaining that the compromise gives way too much to their Democratic opponents. Even the man expected to take over Speaker Boehner's gavel is among the critics on Capitol Hill. I think this process stinks. This is not the way to do the people's business. And under new management, we are not going to do the people's business this way. Paul Ryan hasn't said if he'll actually support the deal tomorrow when lawmakers take it up for a vote. Many expect it to pass with ample support from Democrats despite the disagreements among GOP ranks. Reporting in Washington, I'm Polo Sandoval. Former Patriot co-workers have begun applying for jobs with Black Hawk Mining. Black Hawk will take over six of Patriot's mining complexes in West Virginia later this week. Black Hawk was the winning bidder for the majority of Patriot's assets. Black Hawk began the hiring process on Monday at the Charleston Civic Center. Black Hawk, Hawk Vice President Jesse Parrish said that the company expects to rehire about 1,400 former Patriot employees. Parrish says the company hopes to resume mining at the West Virginia mines as soon as possible. Miner Mark Watts said he was told that his hours would be reduced and that a pay cut also is expected. Patriot filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on May 12th. And after opening just seven days ago, Yummy Japan in Princeton is now closed. The Mercer County Health Department confirms the restaurant has been shut down while the health department completes an investigation to make sure that it is following proper health codes. The Hibachi Japanese restaurant featured many traditional dish dishes as well as sushi. It's located on Stafford Drive in Princeton. Here at the health department, we always look for businesses coming to Mercer County. Um, it brings a great economic boost to the county, um, but all any and all establishments have to follow codes and regulations set through with the FDA and the county health department. Health department officials say they are working with the owners of Yummy Japan and hope that they will be able to fix the problems. For the first time, Greenbrier County Schools are offering Innovation Zone after school programs to students at both middle schools and Greenbrier East High School. WVVA's Haley Bianco joins us live from the Resource Fair with more details. Haley, how's it going there? Hey Greg, students, parents, and educators gather here tonight to talk about the new Lights On After School program. The program is funded through dropout prevention grants from the West Virginia Department of Education. After the school day, students have access to tutoring, homework help, dinner, and enrichment activities like guitar building and auto body work. 
It's a great way to keep kids safe after the school day ends, engage them and inspire learning, uh, and also help our working families to know that their kids are taken care of and in a constructive program after school. Carter says students develop business and marketing plans for products created during after school activities. Those products will then be sold and the funds raised go back into the program. One of the goals of tonight's open house is to engage local leaders so that the program can continue to grow. Here for you live in Greenbrier County, Haley Bianco, Greg, back to you. Haley, thank you very much. Coming up on WVVA News at 5, a new program will help first responders as they handle emergency situations involving children with autism. And a study reveals caring for a person with dementia in the patient's last five years of life can be very expensive. Medical News is straight ahead. Hi, it's Fox with Fox and Thompson. Did you know you could save money on your heating and cooling bills with a new train heat pump? The estimate is free. Call Fox and Thompson today and ask about our finance options. It's, it's hard, hard to stop, stop a train. October is Subaru Loves Pets Month, and Hometown Subaru is celebrating with a pet food drive for our friends at Raleigh County Humane Society. Help us and our furry friends by dropping off your donation right to our showroom. Drive home a brand new 2015 Subaru Impreza, zero down, only $277 per month. New 2015 Subaru XV Crosstrek, zero down, only $315 per month. Plus, get an APR as low as 0.9% on certified pre-owned Subarus in stock. And don't forget, we're accepting pet food drive donations all month long at Hometown Subaru. Hi, it's Thompson. It's Fox and Thompson. Did you also know you can save 95% of your gas bills with a new Navy tankless water heater or boiler? Stop replacing your water heater with old technology. Instead, call Fox and Thompson today. It's just common sense. It's, it's hard, hard to stop a train. Tonight. That's the attitude I want you to have. Rihanna's back on The Voice. Your voice is like a baritone sax. You're so sexy. <laughs> and who gets the steal that will shake up the entire season? Get it! The Voice, all new tonight at 9, 8 central on NBC, and get the NBC app. He's a serial arsonist. We don't stop him. More people are going to die. And you have evidence? They're missing, and that's not possible. Drop your radios. All new Chicago Fire, tonight on NBC, and get the NBC app. WVVA closed captioning is underwritten by Family Eye Healthcare Clinic. Dr. G. Frank Britton. I care for the whole family. We're often able to make a huge difference in the lives of our clients. The contingent fee allows people to get a lawyer when they otherwise couldn't. You know, oftentimes people don't think that they can go up against big companies and their lawyers, but they absolutely can because we don't get paid unless we win for them. This gives them the ability to actually, for David to go up against Goliath. We never ask a client to reach into their own pocket to fund a case. We have the resources to fund the big cases. Live in HD with Courtney Clark and meteorologist Jenna Brown. You're watching WVVA News at 5. A unique program is helping first responders in Washington. The Isaac Alert System gives important information about children with autism and other disabilities to workers responding to an emergency situation. Katie Chin has more. Trevin loves hearing car sounds and playing with colorful pinwheels. He also has autism. He typically repeats sounds and questions and doesn't hold conversation. Trevin, how old are you? How old are you? His mom, Amanda, says his language skills get worse under stress. Your child's safety is a major stressor, right? You're always worried about their safety. So if an emergency happens, Amanda says giving crews a better understanding of Trevin is very important. Through the Isaac Alert, she can let them know his different characteristics, like he has trouble communicating. It gives you that little peace of mind and about your child's improved safety with through their first responders. The Isaac Alert is a part of the Autism in the Wild program. It familiarizes kids with the police and firefighters who will respond to emergencies, but also trains those first responders to be more effective. What I really wanted was our guys to recognize when they have a child that may have this, this type of, a, of an affliction, and, and I want them to be able to have more tools in their toolbox to handle the situation for a more positive outcome. Come here. And Amanda says it's really a community effort. Don't feel like you're alone because you're not. Caring for a person with dementia costs more in the patient's last five years of life than health care costs associated with other diseases. The National Institutes of Health reports health care spending for those with dementia in the last five years of life amounts to more than a quarter million dollars per person. 
The NIH says that tends to be more than cost for diseases like cancer and heart disease. During that time frame, Medicaid enrollment rises for dementia patients. The study also finds financial burdens are greater among unmarried people, African Americans, and those without a high school education. And if you've talked yourself into thinking the candy bars from your Halloween stash are a nutritious snack, we've got some bad news for you. While some studies have suggested chocolate may reduce heart disease and dementia, experts say the majority of chocolate is not a health food. The natural compounds in cocoa flavored flavanols have been shown to be beneficial, but Harvard researchers say the amount of these flavanols used in chocolate products varies greatly. In fact, you may need to consume more than 700 calories of dark chocolate and more than 1,000 calories of milk chocolate each day to get any kind of protective effect. And by then, you've also consumed a ton of extra sugar. Experts do say chocolate is a good alternative to baked, baked goods or sticky hard candy. So there you go. Stay with us. Jenna Brown's up next with your forecast when we come back. Mortgage loans can be as easy as pie. At First Community Bank, there are no long waits for approval and you are always informed. First Community Bank is committed to working with you to obtain the mortgage finances suited to your specific needs. Call us today and ask about our premier mortgage. As an added personal touch, close any mortgage loan with First Community Bank and your lender will personally deliver a fresh baked apple pie right to your new front door. See why getting a mortgage through First Community Bank is like having your own welcome committee. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. On behalf of Cole Chevrolet and WBBA, we would like to congratulate our September Student of the Month, Alyssa Bennett, and our September Teacher of the Month, David Wilson. Hey, listen up. It's time to love your heart. Go to clevelandclinic.org slash loveyourheart and learn what really matters to that lovable heart of yours. Our office building is over 130 years old. Both times we've remodeled, we did it with union workers. I even built my home with union workers. Why? Because at the Siegel Law Firm, we don't just claim to support union workers and their families. We actually hire them when we have the chance. Call the Siegel Law Firm if you've been injured on the job. It's on! the fourth quarter sales drive at your Honda dealers. Time to kick off savings on our entire starting lineup. Civic, a KVD Best Buy of any small car, now under five bucks a day. Just $149 a month. Accord, car and driver's 10 best winner, a record 29 times for just $189 a month. And CRV, Motor Trend's SUV of the year, now for just $209 a month. But this is your two-minute warning. These deals won't last. Then it's game over. See your Blue Ridge Honda dealer today. troops and their families, the military is more than a career. It's a journey, and every step along the way, the USO is there. Learn more today at USO.org. He saved us from bankruptcy. He saved the Greenbrier. He saved our jobs. The first thing Jim Justice did was give back our health and pension benefits. He invested in us. He's created hundreds of new jobs. Good paying jobs. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim, for believing in us. Thanks for believing in West Virginia. He's done so much for the Greenbrier. Imagine what he could do for the state. I'm tired of our state being last in everything. I'm Jim Justice. What I've done for the Greenbrier, I can do for the state of West Virginia. Umbrellas will be needed tonight and again for tomorrow as you're heading back out to work and school. The chance for rain will continue all the way through Wednesday evening. We're also going to be dealing with gusty winds, especially tonight into early tomorrow morning. Behind this system that's bringing the rain and the wind, we will start to dry out. We'll see a little bit more sunshine, but actually some cooler temperatures as we wrap up the week and go into the start of the weekend, which means Halloween right now. So far, so good. And we'll take a look at that in the seven day forecast. Currently, though, our dual pole Doppler radar showing quite a bit of green out there. So almost everyone is dealing with rain at this point this evening. There are some pockets, more moderate rain coming through Tazewell County, and it's pretty much moving off to the north and east. And we've got all this rain coming up out of the south as low pressure heads up the Mississippi River. Valley. Of course, the rain, the cloud cover has kept temperatures chilly all day, and we've been ranging in the 40s to lower 50s. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's just been a raw day out there for sure. Now, the good news is that temperatures will start to trend.
trend warmer as we go into the overnight hours and temperatures will continue to warm up as we go into the day tomorrow. So a lot of us are going to hit our overnight lows very early right around midnight and then temperatures will start to improve as we go into the morning. It's still going to be a chilly start though. As we widen the view out and take a look regionally, we are seeing this kind of bubble here of chillier air, especially in the mountains and it's due to high pressure sitting off the northeast coast. It's keeping that easterly wind. It was northeasterly uh, and that always kind of wedges some chillier air up against the mountains. So that's what we've been battling today. And of course the clouds and the rain haven't helped, but we will have some warmer air come in out of an approaching cold front. And that's what's going to keep the chance for rain around too. As we look at the radar loop, there's just a whole lot of rain. Everybody's dealing with it here through the Carolinas, getting into Virginia, all the way up through the Ohio Valley, even up towards Chicago. So this is a pretty big system. As we take a look at the surface map, the low pressure center that we're watching is coming up out of the south right now. It is going to be moving to the north into the Great Lakes region as we go into tomorrow morning and it's going to deepen. It's going to get stronger because of that. We're going to start to see gustier winds. So wind speeds are actually going to increase from the south and east as we go into early tomorrow morning. We do have that wind advisory up for higher elevations in Mercer and Tazewell counties, but everyone's going to be dealing with gusty winds through early tomorrow. We're also in between high and low pressure, and that's the other reason why the wind will be coming from the southeast and will be gusty. We do have a cold front that'll be approaching tomorrow, and that could actually bring a couple of thunderstorms as well. So the chance for showers continues through morning. The uh, arrows here, the streamline showing that wind direction coming right out of the south and east. As we go into Wednesday afternoon, we're more scattered showers, but possibility of some downpours and even a few thunderstorms as the cold front comes through. And that's what we're seeing right here. Thunderstorms are likely not going to be severe, but one or two severe storms is a possibility right now. Uh, gusty, damaging straight line winds would be the main threat, but we can't rule out one or two isolated tornadoes as well. But again, the chance for severe weather is at about 5% tomorrow. So most of us will be fine just dealing with some showers. And then a few showers continue into Thursday morning. We're kind of blustery as we continue throughout the day, but we start drying out. Overnight tonight, temperatures again on the rise through the 40s into the 50s. Tomorrow, blustery showers and a few thunderstorms with highs in the 60s. But we do dry out. We'll see some decent conditions for Halloween. Greg? Very good, Jana. Thank you much. All right, straight ahead, a whale watching boat with... 27 people aboard sinks off Vancouver Island, British Columbia, and video surfaces of a school resource officer confronting a high school student in South Carolina. Stay tuned for Call on Tape. It's deal hunting season, so the door and the books are staying in my wallet. Save some green at Hometown Kia. When you drive home a new 2015 Kia Forte LX, zero down, just $247 per month. Or a new 2016 Kia Sportage LX, zero down, only $329 per month. These are not a lease. You own them. Plus, with a job earning $300 weekly, our banks want to say you're approved during deal hunting season at Hometown Kia. I'm Colton Davis, and I want to see you in a Kia. Are you looking for a new career in an expanding field? Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning technicians are in demand, and Valley College can train you in as little as nine months. Valley College gets you the hands-on training and professional support you need from faculty with real-world experience. With frequent start dates, there is no need to wait. Visit us online at valley.edu or call the campus nearest you. Reach your potential. Start your journey today with Valley College. It's gearing up to be a great Ram truck month at Ramey Tazewell. Save over 11,000 on this Ram Quad Cat 1500 Express for now only 31,867. Head to the mountains in this new Crew Cab Ram now only 33,990. Don't forget about a huge selection of great deals on Jeeps like this 4x4 Jeep Patriot only 19,999. From the Ram 1500 Sport to the 2500 Diesel, we have the right truck for you right here at Ramey Tazewell, where we're worth the drive every time. hit head on by a drunk driver. Car wreck? Call us and we'll take it from there. You found money where you wouldn't have even thought to, that you could have found money at. Call Farmer Klein and Campbell. If I ever need a lawyer, he's on speed dial. Call 252-599-0.
Why choose First Community Bank as your mortgage lender? No long waits for approval, and you are always informed. First Community Bank also offers a mortgage loan to qualified borrowers that requires no down payment. Call or stop by a local branch and ask about Premier Mortgage. First Community Bank takes its commitment to personal service seriously, so much so that when you close any mortgage loan with First Community Bank, your lender will deliver a fresh apple pie to your front door. Why not put the power of First Community Bank to work for you? Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. We're often able to make a huge difference in the lives of our clients. We never ask a client to reach into their own pocket to fund a case. We don't get paid unless we win for them. This gives them the ability to actually, for David to go up against Goliath. Five people are dead after a whale watching boat with 27 people aboard sank off Vancouver Island, British Columbia. 21 people survived, one person is still missing. Boris Sanchez has the story. A popular whale watching tour boat capsizing and sinking off the coast of Tofino, a small coastal town on Vancouver Island. This morning, five passengers dead and one remains missing after the Leviathan II, a 65 foot tour boat run by Jamie's Whaling Station and Adventure Centers, sank while carrying 27 people. 21 rescued as the desperate search for survivors continued through nightfall. More than a dozen have been treated at local hospitals. According to Canadian rescue officials, the vessel making a distress call late Sunday afternoon on what witnesses describe as a clear and sunny day. It was a beautiful day here in Tofino and there were, there were some big swells out on the ocean, but we just don't know anything about uh, what, what may have happened at the scene. Search officials eventually locating the capsized boat eight nautical miles west of the tourist town. The cause of the accident not yet known. Today, the Transportation Safety Board of Canada deploying a team of investigators to the scene. According to records from the TSB, the boating company that operated the whale watching tour also had a fatal incident in 1998. This, as the mayor of Tofino commends residents for their outpouring of support. Tofino's thoughts and prayers are with passengers, crew, emergency responders, and their families. Thank you all for your messages of support. South Carolina police have launched an investigation after a disturbing video surfaces of a school resource officer confronting a high school student Monday. The Richland County Sheriff's Office says a student at Spring Valley High School in Columbia was under arrest for causing a disturbance in the classroom when she refused to leave. They say that's when school resource officer Ben Fields was, quote, called to respond to the situation, end quote. The cell phone video shows Officer Fields approach the girl at her desk, then grab her arm while putting his arm around her neck. A struggle ensues, and the girl falls to the floor before being dragged by Officer Fields to the front of the classroom. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott is out of town, but a spokesperson says he is aware of the video and finds it disturbing. School officials say Officer Fields has been relieved of his duties pending the outcome of an investigation. If you want to watch any of those videos again, just head to our website, WVVA.com. Stick around. Jen is back in a moment with the latest on your forecast. There's no other time in the two Virginias quite like fall. Picnics, hiking, bonfires, and oh yeah, football. Every Friday night, young men hit the gridiron for a chance at glory. A decade of hard work for a moment of greatness. We're here to capture that moment. Tune in Friday at 11 for post-game coverage with A.J. and Colin. Friday Football, where greatness happens. It's a shame that thousands of proud veterans have to fight for the disability benefits they so richly deserve. Jan Bills can help. Call 1-877-VETERAN today. She won't take no for an answer. For more than 25 years. Five years, Scott Siegel has played a leading role in the development and trial of mesothelioma cancer cases in West Virginia. That's a quarter century of experience in interviewing factory workers and the cross-examination of scientists working for the asbestos companies. Scott Siegel has protected individuals from companies that put profits ahead of safety. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma, call the Siegel Law Firm at 855-344-9100. A pitcher who can paint the corners is known as a Rembrandt. At GMC, we get why people love that kind of precision. After all, that's exactly what we deliver. 
This is Precision. This is GMC. Now get one year of Sirius XM satellite radio. Plus get 5,500 cash back on select Sierra 1500 double cab models in stock the longest. See your Southern West Virginia GMC dealer today. If this looks hard, try getting the Social Security Disability benefits you deserve. Jan Dills can help you. Call 1-877-JAN-DILLS today. She won't take no for an answer. Temperatures gradually warming up overnight. This timeline starts at about 9 p.m. tonight. Most of us right now are actually in the 40s to low 50s. But by tomorrow morning as you're heading out the door, we're going to be climbing more into the upper 50s. So temperatures do warm up. Tomorrow's high is getting uh, close to 70 for some. But showers and even a couple of thunderstorms are expected for Wednesday. Thursday morning, a few showers may linger, but then we start drying out. We'll see sunshine, but we'll start to feel some chillier temperatures as we wrap up the week. Looking good right now for Halloween, but then showers return Sunday into Monday. Greg? Very good, Jana. Thank you. Hey, Inside Edition is just around the corner. WVBA News continues tonight at 6. Of course, we're always on at WVBA.com. Enjoy your evening. See you back here in 30 minutes. Frozen Death.